185 mile per hour winds and get, actually getting very good readings on the storm because we have Doppler radar from the National Weather Service in uh, Puerto Rico and it's been watching the storm all day and you can get a very good fix in the movement of the storm while it's passing on that land-based radar to the northeast. Still a well-formed hurricane. Might be some small signs. It might be weakening just a little bit, but keep in mind we're talking about 185 mile per hour winds and the cutoff between category four and five is essentially 157. This is well above the average category five storm and it's sustained that way for over 24 hours now. It's been a remarkable 20 Four hours and you saw the uh, results on the ground there very very destructive so the west to northwesterly movement is going to continue north of Puerto Rico as you mentioned Puerto Rico on the weaker side of the storm still getting some very strong wind gusts in Puerto Rico itself as it moves toward Dominican Republic uh, to the northwest similar kind of movement on the weaker side but there are areas that will be north of the eye places like the Turks and Caicos parts of the Bahamas that will also feel the wrath of that stronger northern part of the storm the advancing part of the storm so here's the track as of 11 o'clock from the National Hurricane Center. You can see the location there, latitude, longitude. Thursday at 8 p.m., uh, be north of Haiti, still potentially as a Category 5. It can weaken and still stay a Category 5 hurricane. That's how strong it currently is. And again, moving across the eastern part of Cuba, forecast models want to take it uh, to the north eventually, reacting to a weakness in the ridge of high pressure out in the Atlantic. And you can see by Sunday at 8 p.m., potentially as a Category 4, somewhere around West Palm Beach, perhaps slightly above that, right in that eye wall along coastal areas. Also, a strong storm surge could occur, maybe 12 to 14 feet in South Florida as a result because the storm is much larger geographically than it was, say, Hurricane Andrew in 1992. It has time to build up that large storm surge. So that'll be an issue as well as the potential strong winds. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.